Hello, this is me, Devoning Octopus, and welcome to another episode of Turbo Dismount DOR Championship. Anyway, today in this episode, it is going to be well, this is round three of the championship, and what I've decided to do for this round is the control challenge basically you can see we're back on the skid marks map which we were on for round one which is basically a long drag strip but when you get down to the the other side there aren't uh, there aren't uh, turbo pads like there were there are oil slicks now oil slicks if you know are very very slippery very very slippery slippy and slidey anyway and the cars are probably going to all slip and slide their way down the track and a lot of them are going to crash anyway the uh, the ones that make it further I, I think that the ones that make it the furthest so that the three cars that make it the furthest will get will get points because of course it's the top three in every round that scores points How, however if if a car does manage to make it to the line at the end here I think the scoring will be decided by how quickly it crosses the line because, of course, control, control isn't just about not crashing it. It's about, uh, well, how 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 well you can not crash it, how, how quickly you can do it. Anyway, off to a good start there with a full speed. Ignore that other car there. We don't need to worry about him. He's basically just... He's, he's just there for comparison in terms of speed, I suppose. Ooh, getting very slippy and slidey over the turbo pads. Oh, the character's come out, and he, he either tripped over the character or he... Um, uh, or he hit the wall. I, I'm not entirely sure. I think it might have been the latter. Uh, he, I think he hit the wall. But uh, so he made it across two oil slicks. Right. So that is the best so far, of course, because there's only been one. Right. Now for the wedge. Let's see what the wedge can do. Now the wedge is known for being very fast. He got third in the speed challenge at the in in round one. But can it control itself at those high speeds when it crosses something very slippery? If, you, if you're wondering why I keep resetting it, it's because I want to get a full speed here, just so that it's a fair test. All the cars need to get a full speed, just so this is a fair test. However, I don't seem to be getting close to a full speed. Come on, I've got to, I've, I've got to get this. Come on, I have to get this at some point or another. Oh dear. Sometimes it takes me longer. There we go. That's full speed. Right. Sometimes it takes me longer than others to get uh, the speed. So you can see uh, that. Uh, oh, it's hit the wall already twice. But it's going to make it across the line with a top speed. Well, with a, a crossing the line speed of 112. So 112 is the uh, is the is the speed to beat, and it's just doing some celebratory donuts. Well, we can't sit and watch that because otherwise we're going to run out of time in the video so right okay now for the maximus the maximus currently hasn't sc hasn't scored any points yet it's not a title contender but uh let's see what it can do oh it uh lost it after the first uh, oil slick however it could technically still score points because it, it made it past one oil slick. and technically it's the top three that score points and there's just been three so technically it's in third which is a point scoring position but i very much doubt it's going to hold that point scoring position Right, now for Pink Lightning. Now, Pink Lightning's advantage is that it's not too unbelievably quick, so it should be able to control itself at those height, at those, at uh, the speed that it goes. However, its disadvantage, as you can see, is that it's only got three wheels, so if it drifts a bit too hard, it might tip over. Oh, it seems to, it's getting a bit wobbly, but it seems to have survived the first and the second. Oh, I saw it get a wheel up in the air there. I saw it get, oh, that rear right keeps on lifting up off the ground as it corrects itself. However, it is going to make it across the finish line with 25 miles an hour, which technically puts it second because it crossed the line. So, uh, so far it's the wedge that's first, the pink lightning that is second, and third is the uh, delivery van, which did crash, but it made it past two oil sticks, which was further than the Maximus. Anyway, now for the red hot engine. Again, currently, currently hasn't scored any points yet. Uh, only six cars have so far, but yeah, let's see how it can do nonetheless. Getting very oh, it's gone over the barrier. That's not good. Can it get it back over? No, not quite. It looked, it looked like it might have got it. Uh, it might almost get it back over, but no, the wheel's just going to keep on spinning there, and it is not going to make it any further than that. Uh, it made it over two oil sticks though, which puts it joint third. I think. I expect by the end of this, three, at least three cars will across the finish line, so I don't really need to worry about how how far they 
they got. I, I suppose it's just a case of if you can finish, and if you do finish, how well you can finish. That's going to get you points here. Anyway, now for one of the slowest cars in the game, the Mall Racer. Uh, they, a mall is kind of like a shopping center in in the uh, in the continent of North America. Maybe some other continents as well. I don't know. Um, uh, yeah, here they're called shopping centers. I, actually, I think I think that uh, my second biggest audience is in America, so it's probably going to be um, a bit confusing to a lot of you to hear me talking about America as if it's like a separate country. But yeah, I'm English, so. Anyway, uh, the Moor Racer has done a respectable job for a car of its speed. It's passed four um, oil slicks, which does put it third on the leaderboard so far. So, uh, if no car can make it further than that, which I, I, I think a car will make it further than that, but if, if no car makes it further than that, then it will score some points. It's first points in the series. Anyway, here goes the Sasquatch. Look how much power it's got. It's doing wheelies. Oh, it's got too much power. It's going up on two wheels, but it's kept it. And it's gone over the barrier, but it has crossed the line with a speed of 71 miles an hour, which puts it second on the leaderboard. So, first first so far is the, uh, the, the, um, the, the wedge. Second is the Sasquatch. And third is the Pink Lightning. Interestingly, none of those three people... Actually, the Wedge has scored points so far, but none of the others have scored points. Now, here's the Smooth Cruiser. You can see it's already had a bit of a, a collision with the barrier, and yet it's not going to make it... It's not quite going to make it to the end. It's just going to come to a rest against the wall. Now, because the Sasquatch, uh, the Pink Lightning, and the Wedge all finished, that means... That means that it... Uh, it... Uh, that... You have to finish now to score points. So if you don't finish, you don't score points. And even if you do finish, if you're if you're slower than 25 miles an hour, I think it is so far, then you're not going to make it. Wow, the Corley seems to have some real control. Look at that. That's put it second with 93 miles an hour in total. So that puts it between the Sasquatch and the Wedge. So the Wedge is still ahead, followed by the Corley, and then the... Uh, uh, and then... The, the 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 what's it called the 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 Sasquatch that's it for its name there the Sasquatch anyway now for the Ranger this is currently running joint third in the championship so this is a real title no wait oh yeah so this is a real title contender here of course it came second last time out oh getting a bit squirrely oh look at that it's almost lost it. oh just keeping it out of the wall but it's crossed the line with 75 miles an hour which has Oh, wow, <laughs> look at those ac acrobatics, that was spectacular. Right, that's put it third, so this car is now in for a chance of some points. Right, now for the Street Slicer, this is another vehicle, which is, uh, which is, uh, which doesn't have the disadvantage of being extremely fast, so it, it's less likely to lose control as it's going down the, well, as it's going across the oil slicks, so this car, I mean, this vehicle, as long as it can make it to the end, it could finish. However, you, he he does need to beat 75 miles an hour to be in with a shot of points. Unfortunately, let's face it, that's not going to happen. But, of course, I had to test it anyway because, uh, to be a fair test, you have to test everything. But, yeah, the street slicer is going to come to a screeching halt after it looks like just for, um, just for uh, uh, oil sticks. The Comrade now, this is a, a tractor, still yet to score points. I, I always think of this as being very much like the Sasquatch in the way that it has a lot of power for its weight. So it does it does a wheelie as it's set off, as you're about to see, if I can get it to full speed. There we go. Doing a wheelie as it sets off, just like the uh, the Sasquatch did. Right. Uh, can it Right. Can it beat 75 miles an hour across the line? If it can make... Oh, dear. Okay. The problem with the Comrade is it's very top-heavy, so it does tend to get up onto two wheels. And, oh dear, it's tagged the wall there. It's, it has crossed the line, but sadly, it's just too slow to to reach the leaderboard. So, oh dear. Anyway, now for the cool streak. I, I can imagine this has a chance of finishing, because we've seen that two-wheel cars, I mean, vehicles, do tend to be quite good. Uh, we've seen the, the Corley get a, uh, a, a pretty high score. Uh, I think of 93. So, that's, so the Corley's so far second. However... I don't think the cool streak is going to be quite fast enough. No, you can see it's uh, struggling to reach 60 miles an hour there. 
Uh, it has reached 60, but it was struggling to reach 60, and I don't think it's going to reach any higher than that. Oh, I think I just saw a glimpse of 61. However, 60 is not good enough for the podium, so no points for the for the cool streak this time out. Now for the slowest car in the game. I mean, vehicle on, in the game. The boss drone. Now, it may be the slowest, but can it control? Uh, the only trouble is it's very... Well, one of the... Uh, actually, a trouble is... It's quite top heavy, so if it if it does get too squirrely over the over the oiled slicks, uh, there is a high chance it will tip over. Uh, there's also another chance that because it's got such a weird steering system, that it might actually lose can lose a uh, lose track entirely of where its wheels are and head off in completely op the opposite direction. Actually, because of its uh, low speed, it looks like it's going to come to a grinding halt, possibly even. Uh, well, yeah, possibly even before the uh, the third oil slick. Can it just cross? The I'll give it the point if it crosses halfway point. There we go. It crossed the halfway point, so I'm going to count that as passing three. Oh well, it, it doesn't matter because it uh, it still it still isn't going to make the leaderboard, so it doesn't matter anyway. So just a revision. Actually, I don't need to revise on what the leaderboard is already, as we just see a hippie van crashing out. Uh, but I don't need to revise on the leaderboard already, because you've got that uh, information right on the bottom of your screen right now. And you have done for the entire video, and you will for the rest of the video as well. So, I don't need to explain that to you, because you can see it for yourself. And I can't actually remember. I, I can remember the scores, but I can't remember... I can remember who came for. I can remember who's in first and second. Uh, but I can't remember who's below that. Anyway, now you can see the heavy metal heading down the the drag strip and also crashing into the curb. But he's got going it. No, he's not going to make it out of that. And also, even if he did, he's too slow to beat 75 miles an hour anyway. So, unfortunately, the heavy metal hasn't beaten it. And also the swinger, which is coming up now, also, I can tell you now, probably, well, almost definitely isn't going to beat it. Uh, either because it isn't, it really isn't the fastest of vehicles. Uh, but as I as I said before, to be a first test, you have to test everything, and that's what I'm doing. Now you watch. Oh well, on some occasions, the rear end here, as it swings out, does tag the lights in the middle there, and that can cause some real problems sometimes. Also, this uh, this swinger here has a tendency to catch on things and cause. Uh, even more problems. Oh dear, it's uh, sliding around and it's hit the barrier already, but it's still going. I mean, it might complete the run, although actually, the the rate it's sliding, it, it might not even do that. So, it might complete the run, but even if it does, the chance of it actually uh, um, being fast enough aren't, uh, aren't very high, and sure enough, as you just saw, it ground to a halt. Anyway, here is the Tokenberg which I just can't seem to get to f go full speed. There we go, full speed at last. Uh, the sound, the sound's not, uh, the the sound is not delayed, by the way, or at least I think it isn't, because uh, I was just <laughs> having a bit of de a delayed response as the token bird gets very, very wiggly, goes up onto two wheels like we've seen some other cars do. Look at that! Uh, it's managed to finish the run, as you can see, as it just loses its wing on the barrier. It uh, it's managed to finish the run, but it's only managed 49 miles an hour. So. Uh, the token bird not on the leaderboard. However, here is a vehicle that might. Currently, joint third in the championship, the Shuriken. One of the biggest title contenders. Let's see what this can do. I can imagine this is going to be quite good. Two wheel, two wheel vehicles do tend to do well in this game on oil sticks. Look at the speed. That is really, and it's look at the control too. It's hit the wall. Oh my goodness. It was running at a really, really high speed, and if it had just managed to keep control for a few seconds more, it might have, it might have, uh, it might just have beaten, it might just have won actually. But this is called the control challenge, and it crossed the line with only 81. So unfortunately for it, it it has not, uh, it has not scored any higher than third place. Third place is still a very respectable effort, but it looked so sure to promise even better results. Okay, I'm going to retry this rank, because that, that, this is a bit unfair that uh, the Grim Wagon just got assaulted by the uh, by the AI car, so I'm going to retry that to give it a, a, a bit more of a fair chance. Look at that weaving! It's, the thing is, it's got a, it's such a long vehicle that when it crosses, when it crosses over on the, uh, on the oil slick, it just can't keep control of itself, and sure enough, it did cross the line, but it, uh, 
didn't reach a, uh, a very high speed. But, look at this. This is the Joint Championship Leader. This is the Squealer. The Squealer is here, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, the Squealer. Let's see what this can do. This is a Formula One car. This is designed for downforce. I know that Formula One cars aren't really designed to uh, to uh, to uh, control well on oil because, well, it's not really expected to encounter oil. And I know that it's not on wet weather tyres here, but look at this. In this game, it's just unstoppable. 192 miles an hour pushes the Shuriken out, out of the top three. So that, that means that it has taken first place so far. So, Squealer leads with 190... Oh, I've forgotten it already. I think it was 196 miles an hour. So, Squealer leads with 196 miles an hour. Second is the Shuriken. No, not the Shuriken. What am I saying? Second is the, the, the Wedge with 121 miles an hour. And third place is the uh, the Shuriken with 80, 83. Right. Here we go. This is the Grim Wagon. Oh, no, the Wasteland now. This is currently running joint fifth in the championship, if I remember correctly. So, um, this car is sort of a title contender. It's a bit of an outside chance for the title, I, for the championship, I'd say. Uh, if you if you wanted a, a bit of a an outside guess for who the championship is going to be for, I'd suggest going for either this car or the Wedge. However, the Wedge is going to score second, it looks like, in this run. Although... Look at that! That is a high score, and that has actually pushed the the Shuriken out of the top uh, the top three. Actually, I said the Squealer had, but I I think I was wrong. That's pushed the Shuriken out. out. No, that's put the co pushed the Corley out. Of the I forgot the Corley. Yeah, that's pushed the. Or has it pushed? The yeah, that's pushed the Corley out of the top three. So the Wastelander now in third place in the round, and uh, yeah, so far. So. Now for the, uh, what's this called again? The Ricky Tick. Yeah, now for the Ricky Tick. So, picking up some quite good speed, but it's hit the wall and it's flown over the barrier. Oh dear. So, the Ricky Tick not managing it. But look at what's next. It's the Ladorian. Oh yes. <coughs> the Ladorian, of course, is currently running joint first in the championship. So this is a serious title contender. This is the joint championship leader. Let's see what the Ladorian can do now. It needs some serious points here to keep itself ahead of the Squealer in the title can, uh, in the title standings. I think the Squealer is still the favourite for the title. Oh, it's getting very squirrely. It's getting very wiggly. It's not going to score points. The Ladorian Joint Championship leader does not score points. the The final uh, the final speed was slower than it needed to be. And the Ladorian does not score points just when it needed to. That is very disappointing for the Ladorian, and the Squealer is going to be at is going to be absolutely overjoyed with that result because the Squealer's main title contender is now not going to score. But look at the tumbler living up to its name. Look at that. That is what I call tumbling, <laughs> bouncing around, absolutely dancing. Quite spectacular, anyway. Now, one of the three new entries for this round, the Royal Highness. It's a bus. You're seeing it correctly. Now, this uh, wasn't added when last round was recorded, so this is its first chance, first appearance in the championship. So really, I don't know how it's going to do. Of course, it does have yeah, it does have the advantage of missing two two rounds. It does have the advantage of missing two. Uh, I mean, disadvantage of missing two rounds, so that'll uh, be a, a real disadvantage in terms of the actual finishing championship. And um, but let's see what it can salvage in the remaining uh, 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 r remaining few rounds of the championship. I've decided that uh, I think ten seems like a good number. I think there should be ten rounds in this championship. Oh dear! Now you see. It's be because it's so wide as it crossed over the oil slick there. It just couldn't keep control, and it lost lost it completely. Anyway, now one of the one of the two remaining cars uh, left in this round. One of the uh, three new entries for this round, the Quadfin Fighter. Now this car is extremely quick, but only when it crosses a uh, a. Um, 
a, a turbo pad. Otherwise, it's not it's not quick at all. It's about average. You can see now it di didn't get off to a hugely thrilling, thrilling start. I mean, it's not slow. It's just not really that quick either. But let's see how it controls. Whoa, it's wobbly. Whoa, it's wobbly. It's based around the X-wing, of course, from uh, from Sky Wars. Uh, I mean, uh, no, uh, is it is it Star Star Wars or Star Trek? Hmm. I don't. I can't really remember. I'm not really a fan of either. I've never seen any episodes of either, or any movies or other either, or anything really. So I don't really know. Uh, however, it didn't score any points this round. Anyway, here is the final contestant for this round. So the final chance to knock the squealer off its perch. I don't think it's going to, but let's see what it can do anyway. So, of course, the squealer and the uh, whatever's running second, what is it? It's the wedge, are guaranteed to score points now. But can the bandit knock the, uh, knock the, the, the whatever scored 105, uh, what was it? Um, uh, I think it was, it was the Wastelander, yeah. Can it knock the Wastelander out of the points? Let's see. It's quite similar to the Wastelander, actually. It has the same sort of engine. It's very powerful. Uh, of course, this is its first entry to the championship this weekend. It's very fast. This could do it in terms of speed. No! It's hit the barrier! And that has given the Squealer the win! And so the Squealer wins round three of the DOR Turbo Dismount Championship. Second is the Wedge. Third place is the, um, is the, the, um, the, 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 uh, the, 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 the Wastelander. And you can clearly see what that means in terms of the championship. It means that the Squealer is building out quite a lead now. Three points ahead of the Ladorian, which is ahead of the Wedge due to uh, that win it got in the Wall Climb Challenge. The Wedge, of course, yet to win a uh, uh, an event, so the Ladorian still ahead of the Wedge. Then it's the Shuriken on two points, the Wastelander, and then everyone else. But we're not even at the halfway point in the championship yet. So really, the championship is not over for anyone. Anyone could still win it. Uh, it's looking likely to be the squealer at the moment, but who knows? Maybe you could see a Ladorian or a Wedge comeback as the season progresses. Only time will tell. Maybe something weird will happen and someone completely different will come through and take the championship at the end. As, as I said, who knows? Well, you will know if you watch the uh, other episodes of the season, which are coming up uh, very soon. Uh, well, maybe the later episodes in the season won't be coming up soon. They'll be coming up in a long time, but the next few episodes are going to be up soon. Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling, so thank you all for watching this, uh, this really exciting round of the DOR Turbo Dismount Championship, and I'll see you in the next round. Goodbye!